They're loading up the ballots to go back out to Afghan polling stations. The United Nations started delivering ballots and voting kits across the country Thursday as hurried preparations for the November 7th presidential runoff got into full swing. Incumbent Hamid Karzai is facing off against former Foreign Minister Abdullah Abdullah. By um, chopper, I mean uh, helicopter and, and uh, by, by land, by tracks, we will... Uh, uh, sent all these goods to the provinces. This time, international monitors are calling for authorities to avert the widespread fraud that marred the first round of voting back in August. One major U.S.-based group said to eliminate so-called ghost polling stations, no ballot should be sent to any that aren't secured by Afghan security forces and staffed by the country's independent election commission. The National Democratic Institute added that polling stations that experienced fraud in August should get special scrutiny next month. In an effort to tamp down cheating, officials will cut a third to a quarter of the 24,000 polling stations that were set up for the first round of voting. Some of them were in areas too dangerous to protect. <laughs> Meanwhile, hundreds of angry students were demonstrating in the eastern town of Khost on Thursday. They were protesting following a rumor that U.S. forces had bombed a mosque and burned a copy of the Quran, the Muslim holy book, in a neighboring province the week before. Police dismissed the rumor as a Taliban hoax. The demonstrators did burn an effigy of President Barack Obama and a U.S. flag, but the protest ended peacefully. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.